comes like trash. Trash! I don't even think I'm gonna post this on the site. So basically, I just kind of wanted to make a video. I wanted to talk about this, but I didn't want to be like really weird about it. So I'm just gonna call this video my playlist and it's just a playlist of songs that i have made so i'm just going to kind of talk about my thoughts on these songs and why ow <laughs> rest on sunday like jesus when he was like rest the first song i'm going to talk about <laughs> it's a song that probably everyone knows about even my mom knew about it before me so i'm pretty late on this one it's cancer by 21 pilots <laughs> i will Let me just talk about 21 Pilots for a second. I like their music, but I wouldn't call myself a fan of them. I'm not trying to keep up with them, but somehow I just am. They're like crazy, insane popular, and their fan base is really gross now. It's like Dan and Phil is just total like 12 year old gross little girls. Anyway, so that's my that's my spiel. I'm literally a fake fan of them. That's why I don't like to go around and be like, yeah, 21 Pilots. So I hadn't listened to the original one, first off. So after I'd listened to this one, I went and looked up the MCR version, and I did not like it at all. Like, first of all, it doesn't really have a chorus. And the other thing was that, like, his voice, it makes the song less emotional. The way that the ensemble of the original was just weird, and they had, like, a weird... It was, like, piano, right? And this is weird. That part where it drops, I'm like... <sighs> I don't know what anyone is going to say about this. They're probably going to make fun of me. This next song is called Atlantis featuring K-I, no, no, K-A-I-Y-D-O, some rapper guy, K-K-D-O, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Yeah, and it's called Atlantis and it's by Bridget Mendler. And apparently she's still in music because she made this Nemesis EP, which is where the song is from. The Atlanta song is from the Nemesis EP, released tw this year, 2016. So originally, I listened to the song called Snap My Fingers, which is from that album. In the beginning, I was like jamming like, oh yeah, I was like, Bridget Mellor slays my life. And then the chorus hit and I was like, ew. So then I clicked on the album and I listened to Atlantis because it was the first song. And I was like really jamming out. And then I listened to Library and it was okay. It wasn't a song that I'd be like crazy about. And then I listened to Do You Miss Me At All, which is the most popular one. I don't know why. And it was like another average one. I'm just really puzzled as to why this one song is really good. And the rest of them are like, and not even like this one is good and the others are like here. It's like this one is way up here, like beyond amazing. And the others are just like way down here. And I don't understand. And it's a totally different vibe from the other songs too, which is also kind of weird. But I do like Atlantis a lot. Like the whole melody of it is just really creative. And even the concept, like the lyrics too. I really like the, the whole dancey tune. So yeah, Bridget Mendler, Queen of Pop, she's back. Move over, Miley. She's actually going on tour. Like, Kim Kardashian who? I'm gonna make a porno on my YouTube. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Do you think I need somebody to flag my video because I'm naked? Featuring Kiedu, he's a rapper. And it's kind of weird because rap does not fit in with the genre that this song is. It's like when you have mayonnaise and then all of a sudden you just throw ketchup in there and you're like, yeah. The rest of the song is just so good that I don't even listen to the rapper. I'm just like... The next one is called Voices by K-S-H-M-R- I think you say Cashmere and Will Sparks. So I like this one because this is more like a soft dance one, but I like this one because it's funny because it's called Voices, which is actually really cliche. Like I have, I don't like never heard of a song called Voices before. So creative. But yeah, this one's good. And it sounds like he's saying Johnny in it. I don't think the voice is saying Johnny, but it's really funny because it sounds like it's saying Johnny. 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 Does that not sound like Johnny? And I don't understand this cover art. It's like, it's like a weird anime. There's like rain falling and it's like a mountain and there's like this girl, but it's like this girl in a mountain and then she's got like this dress. Like, what is that? Like, first of all, the title, where did you get that title? I guess they get the title from, like, that weird voice of saying Johnny. It's like, that's voices. But, like, 
those two things, and then there's this cover art that's, like, anime on a mountain, and it's just, and it just, that's even funnier, because I can just imagine this little girl, like, on the mountain, like, looking for Johnny, like, it's her brother, he fell off the cliff, like, and that's why it's echoing, because she's, like, Johnny, looking for Johnny. Johnny! <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> it's just a whole, like, a whole package, it's just happy and nice and fun, and this dude, Cashmere, like, he's just a, such a jolly dude, like, I think I remember. I don't even remember what he looks like. Oh, he's young. Oh, he's like kind of sexy almost. Oh, he's cute. He's got the nerd glasses going on. Mmm, let me give me some of that. Anyway, that's not the image I had in mind, but I'll roll with it, you know. I'm just the most indie. Okay, this last song is from, it's called You Don't Get Me High Anymore by Three Days Grace. First of all, let me just say, Three Days Grace, I don't know how to feel about them anymore. Because the last two albums they've had, I did not like. Whereas the other albums, I really, really liked. And maybe I'm just not into them anymore. Like, maybe that was just a phase that I liked them, and now I'm just over that, and I don't really... But I used to be really into them. You Don't Get Me High Anymore, Three Days Grace, cover of You Don't Get Me High Anymore by Bantogram. Another band that I recently got into, I'm not super into them, but I, I've listened to, I think, almost all their songs, and their new album is really good, and I really like their new album, I just said that. But I got an email, because I signed up for the Three Days Grace website newsletter thingy, and I got an email, I was about to leave it, and then I read it really fast, and I was like, wait a minute. So I listened to it, and I was like, wow, this is really good. Um, no, just kidding. <coughs> no! Uh, something Love, I forgot what it was. Froze, awesome. And I, well, as soon as I started listening to it, I was like, yeah. This works really well as a rock song. So not only is it new music from Three Days Grace, haven't released a song, but it's the cover of a song I know already, like already, from a band that I like already. And I really like it. And that's the end. That's all I have to say. That's um, my playlist. See you later. Good night. I'm like...